Which of the following can be inferred from the passage regarding the recently discovered fossilized sauropod nesting grounds? Well, we have here the idea that we don't know much about the sauropod in terms of its behavior, its social behavior, its reproductive behavior. So when we get this information here on line number nine that says that these nesting grounds, well, because of these nesting grounds, we have information that the sauropods laid eggs and gave birth to live young. So this is one of those tiny clues into the reproductive life or behavior of the sauropod. So what can we infer from that? Well, let's look at A. They are among the few fossils incorporating direct evidence of sauropod behavior, reproductive behavior in this case. And there's there are very few pieces of evidence or fossils incorporating direct evidence, as it says there in line six. But this is one of them. So they have nests. Now we can infer that they lay eggs. So A is correct. B, they confirm the evidence provided by trackways about sauropod behavior. What is this evidence about sauropod behavior and trackways? Well, it talks about fossilized footprints, these trackways. And because these footprints are really close together, here's one, here's another little baby. Where's the baby one? Here's the big, big one. They're close together. What can we infer? Oh, they travel in groups. However, the only thing about the nesting grounds that is being confirmed is their reproductive behavior, nothing about how they travel in groups. So we can get rid of B. C, they have forced a reevaluation re of theories regarding the nature of sauropod herd behavior. Again, the footprints talk about or refer to the herd behavior. The nesting grounds refer to the fact that they are oviparous or laid eggs. So again, deal with different things. So the answer is A as an atom.